Hello, gang. I uh, just left the bank in the grocery store. Marshall cashed in his little change jar. Wants to buy a video game. They don't have it up at GameStop, so I had to go take his money and deposit it into my checking account so that I can order it for him online. We found it online cheaper than you can buy it in the stores. A lot cheaper, actually. $20 cheaper. So he's stoked. Check out the roasted chilies. Smells awesome. Food blogging. I decided I'm going to make ceviche. Shrimp ceviche. So with, I need peppers. Uh, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, shrimp, lime juice. Lots of lime juice. And jalapenos, which I need to do. So I got to put you guys down. Alrighty, there's my ceviche. Yummy, yummy. And I squeezed six limes. I got two left over. Six limes, and that covered all the seafood and just a little splash of sh salt and pepper. And then it needs to sit in the fridge for about an hour. And the lime juice, the citrus, will actually cook the shrimp. I know that sounds weird, and the first time I ever heard it, thought of it, or not thought of it, first time anybody ever told me or whatever, showed me, and I ate it, and yeah, I cut my finger. <laughs> Just a little nick. Uh, our knives are freaking sharp. <laughs> Real freaking sharp. Thanks to that thing right there. Yeah. They're like literally razor sharp. And I'm trying to cut frozen jalapenos. Dumb idea. Yeah, yeah it was dumb. Any hoozle. Uh, yeah, the citrus will actually cook the shrimp. You'll see. I'll show you. It's one of my favorite dishes on the planet. And a little hint for you guys. The juice, after you eat all the ceviche, the juice that's left over, I watch those uh, tomatoes and onions and cilantro and jalapenos and everything kind of leach out their own water. Plus the lime juice is called uh, leche de tigre, which means milk of the tiger. Yeah, ti tiger's milk, I think. Tiger's blood. No, it's milk. No. And it is the best thing in the entire planet for a hangover. It's good. Massa food vlogging. Mass vlog para comidas. El pescado negro. El bok choy. <laughs> I don't know how to say bok choy in Spanish. This is a Japanese word. A pan full of bacon grease. Oh, that's right. I've been saving that. And a pot full of potatoes. So I'm going to boil these till they're just tender, and then I'm going to take them out and smash them, just, just squish them, just, you know, and then I'm going to fry them up in bacon fat. That's what that aioli, can I show you that aioli? Oh, I think I did. Slacking. I made some aioli. Well, you can't really see it's wrapped in plastic. But mayonnaise, garlic, smoked paprika. What you uh, Michael Simon. Mayonnaise, garlic, smoked uh, paprika, sriracha. Uh, that's about it. Spicy aioli. And I don't know what it's going to mix. It. And I made the ceviche, but that needs to sit in there. That could sit in there overnight, actually. Uh, that's not... It shouldn't take more than this. It takes yeah, longer than that. Any hoozle. It's going to sit overnight. Uh, and it's probably more like a snack for tomorrow. All right, so I will get to eat it. What? So I will get to eat it. Why won't you? I'll be at work. Take it with you. Really grilled food blog, black and salmon, corn and bok choy, and those squishy potatoes, little new potatoes. They were boiled, and then I kind of, you can see that. After they were boiled, I kind of hand smashed them, and then put them in some bacon fat in an iron skillet on the grill. Oh, hell yeah. That smells like love. Yeah, it's so good. Yummy. Mommy's actually the grill master right now. Number noms. Smile. Smile. Here we go with dinner. Here's your plate, Marshall. Do you have a drink? Nope. We'll take your plate. <laughs> 